Hello and welcome everyone to another episode. Yes, so time to get another part up. Well, I should say another part of the Duna mission and this would be the lander that we will be using. Hopefully it will work and all that good stuff. I did a lot of testing on it and I think we got a winner. I'll explain a little bit more of the ship and everything else once we get into orbit, but hopefully that will work. So, I am recording while I am getting sick. I don't know, I haven't been feeling good today, but yeah, so I have been recently just congested and just not feeling up to par, and you know, I hope nothing really bad happens or I'm not actually getting sick because that would be nice I I would really enjoy not being sick it's it's the, those sick times I, I, I just don't like I, I'm not very fond of the sickness and all that stuff but yes I think I'm feeling a bit down with the sickness just a just tidbit I had to do it I'm sorry uh yeah so you know I, I I've had a few little minor things happen too and yesterday when I was trying to actually see Saturn and all that stuff because I have seen Saturn already a couple times and I was looking at the moon and all that good stuff I made a bit of a mistake carrying my telescope and it's not broken but it's a, I nearly pooped myself, put it that way. Uh, it was not a very good thing to happen to a telescope, and I even think a telescopes around the world would agree. I have a bad habit of carrying my telescope by it, the tripod, and I'll usually sling the actual, because I have a Newtonian, I'll throw the tube over my shoulder and carry the tripod, or carry by the tripod legs, which I've always been doing ever since I started. So uh, I did not fasten the legs a hundred, or not the legs, but the uh, telescope to the mount a hundred percent, and I felt a little bit of the wobblies in the legs, and yeah, the whole telescope fell and landed on concrete. But luckily, I was thinking just before it fell, and it hit me, or, well, it hit my foot, so my foot kind of broke the fall, and then the telescope itself landed on the concrete. So there were a few little minor issues, uh, one of them being the, uh, what was it? The uh, focusing knob got a little bent. I ended up fixing that, um, and it, overall, it, it was there wasn't anything too bad. It was it was fairly manageable, and I was able to pretty much fix it to brand new state. There, no, oh, excuse me. There are a few dents, and well, I shouldn't even say dents. It's just like very minor dents, if you want to even call them a dent, uh, you, the only way you can really notice it is if you run your hand across it, you can actually kind of feel the metal bend in just very, very slightly, but other than that, um, everything's looking good, I, you know, the one thing I, I just got to get some good pictures, and, you know, overall, the last few nights really haven't been so good when it comes to pictures, it's, in New York here, it is very, very humid out, and it's been humid out for the last couple nights. And also, a lot of cloud cover has been rolling in here and there. So, we've been having, we haven't really been having any storms or anything like that, but it's just been kind of on and off rainy here and there, nothing serious. And I, I just haven't been able to really get any very clear pictures. I was thinking of uploading one of the pictures I have of Saturn, but it just isn't a good picture at all. It, it is very, very blurry. Um, I, I can't remember your name, and I really don't want to sound uh, like one of those people, but... Uh, 
Yeah, your pictures of Saturn came out way better than mine. The ones that you were sending me on Twitter, they, they came out ten times better. So, yeah, that, that, that's all I'm going to say. So we've come down to the almost very last launch, and we'll be getting ready to head to Duna very, very soon. And, you know, I, I'm really debating on whether I should even bring an asteroid capture there, but... You know, I'm not 100% certain, that's all I can say. Uh, you know, there are a few other things. I, could, I was thinking of bringing a few more satellites with us. And just just to have a few that, um, you know, I want like a far-orbiting satellite, kind of like this guy out here. I thought that would be really cool to have. But, um, you know, you guys, I guess, can be the judge of that on what I should bring or what I shouldn't bring. Now, the modded series, I should mention as well, we will be wiping out the modded series. And what I plan on doing is actually kind of setting up something like this, where we actually go and build some cool stuff. I've been thinking kind of more stuff on the Kerbin side. I kind of don't want to, like, venture out too far. Kind of like how Kerbin is over here, and we got a whole bunch of different stuff. The Jewel Explorer also is refueled completely. I ended up refueling this. And I think we will be going to Moho. I'm going to at least try to go to Moho. I don't even think it's going to be possible, but, you know, we'll, we'll try. That, that, that's all I'm going to say. So, as you can see, we are carrying two pieces with this launch. And I'm probably going to keep all of this with, uh, at least for when we actually head out to Duna. Because this will be a fairly decent amount of Delta V that we can get from this stage, even though it's not a huge amount, but whatever. So we have this fuel tank here, which has two separate docking ports on it. This will be dropped off at the Duna station that we have, the space station, and this main part right here will be our lander and everything else just to take off all that stuff and I'm thinking between this stage all of this we should have way more fuel than what we need to get there so I don't think I'm gonna be adding anything extra to this so I've gotten lucky with a few of my launches where I don't actually have to add anything new but you can see uh, we have a lot of stuff on here and I'll deploy like the gear just to show you guys it looks pretty awesome with the way that the gear are configured, everything else. I have the suspension locked, that way they won't. I don't think, I think with the suspension lock, they don't actually have any uh, shock resistance or whatever you want to call it, any shocks in them to where they'll actually move around or anything. So, I, at least I hope that's how it works. Um, and then we got some extra lights on there. I know a lot of people complain about lights. So I put a extra amount of lights on here, and this will be, you know, for landing on the dark side, what have you. And, you know, we got four over here, and then four on the very bottom here. This thing is equipped for everything, and when I say everything, um, there is just in everything on here. There is solar panels, there is just every single thing, which speaking of that, I think I should at least deploy a couple that way we are not going to be screwed and lose any power or any of that good stuff. So I'll just get these guys out. I went with the 1x6 panels. I just thought they would be better. And yeah, robotic as well. Everything. Just I put every bell and whistle possible. I also even added some fins. I know that the atmosphere isn't very... Uh, thick so you know I figured it might help a little bit with uh, control once we're in the atmosphere but you know this thing does have a lot of SAS units on it as well so overall and you know I even added some RCS or well I did put some RCS fuel on it we needed that but I did not put a lot and you know hopefully everything will work out I, I really hope that these legs are low enough to where these engines don't hit the ground I will probably fire them really close to the ground and we got a total of eight separate parachutes but most of these parachutes you know four of them are droge uh, the droge droge I, I don't know if I ever pronounce that correctly and just the regular ones so hopefully everything will work out perfectly
And I know I just jinxed it by saying that. So anyways, guys, uh, if you like what you see here, subscribe. There's always more to come to all you new people. Welcome. And uh, yeah, I will see you next time.